So some definitions of linear programming problem. Linear programming problem is one that is concerned with finding a set of values of decision variable x1, x2, etc, xn such that f of x1, x2, etc, xn equal to a1, x1 plus a2, x2 plus a n, xn where this f of a x1, x2, etc, xn is called objective function. It attains an optimal value. It may be a maximum value or minimum value and it will be such that b11 x1 plus b12 x2 plus etc b1n uh, xn less than or equal to b1 bm1 x1 plus bm2 x2 plus etc bmn xn less than or equal to bm and also C11 x1 plus C12 x2 plus etc. C1n xn greater than or equal to C1. There will be some inequality constraints. That is here we are having less than symbol. Here we are having greater than symbol. This is greater. Also we are having these are known as problem constraints. So we are having some non-negative constraints also that is x1 is greater than or equal to 0, x2 is greater than or equal to 0, xn is greater than or equal to 0. So these are satisfied. The set of points satisfying both the problem constraints and the non-negative constraints is called feasible region for the problem. Any point in the feasible region that provides the optimal value of the objective function over the feasible region is called optimal solution. We need to note that both the objective function and problem constraints are linear. Then only it will be linear programming problem. So we are having three components, objective function, problem constraints and non-negative constraint. And problem constraint we will be having less than or equal to values. Also we are having greater than or equal to values. Some theorem. If the optimal value of the objective function in a linear pro problem exists, then that value must occur at one or more of the corner points of the feasible region. And another definition is lack variable. These are additional variables that are introduced into the linear constraint of a linear program to transform them from inequality constraint to equality constraint. So, we if in some cases, we need to consider these inequalities as here, here we are having inequalities. We need to consider these inequalities as equalities. In order to convert these inequalities to equality, we will introduce some variables known as slack variable. Then standard form is the baseline format for the linear programs before solving for the optimal solution. So in short, it will be like this only. We are having an objective function. Subject to the constraints, we will have as inequalities. Then we will have a non-negative restriction. And then the standard LPP form is, if it seeks to maximize the function, is it equal to Z1x1, etc, Cn, Xn, subject to the constraints, we are having constraints and so, this inequality symbols are converted into equal symbols by adding the variables known as slack variables. So, here S1, S2, Sm are slack variables, etc. are slack variables. Also, if you add a slack variable to LPP, we need to add this non-negative constraints to the LPP, then only it will be equivalent. Then how to convert a linear program into standard program? First of all, you have to uh, add the objective function in the maximization form. And also, all the variables must be non-negative. Then, remove all equality constraints. So, all inequalities are of the form less than or equal to. So, these are the steps we need to consider while converting linear program into standard program. So this is our first question. Minimize 
minus 2x1 plus 3x2 subject to x1 plus x2 equal to 7, x1 minus 2x2 less than or equal to 4, x1 greater than or equal to 0. First we need to, so this is minimization problem, so we need to convert it to maximization problem. In order to convert it to maximization problem, we need to negate the, so first step is negate the maximization objective function. So, minimize minus of my 2x1, so that is 2x1 plus into minus, so it will be minus 3x2, subject to, which are the constraints here, here we are having x1 plus x2 equal to 7, that is okay, then next step, x1 minus 2x2 great less than or equal to 4, so we need to convert this, this one, this step, so we, we are replacing this x2, by x2 minus x2 double dash. So, first step is converted to maximize. There is no change in the next step. Next x2 is a non-negative variable. Replace x2 by two non-negative variables x2 dash and x2 double dash. So, all the x2 occurrences must be replaced. Because x2 is not mentioned as non-negative. Here, our second point is all variables must be non-negative. Since x2 is not non-negative, we can, we must replace it. We must replace like this. All the occurrence here x2 is there. So, it replaces it by x2 dash plus 3x because 3 is there. 3 into x2. Here also x2 is replaced. Here also x2 is replaced. Finally, here instead of x2, we are having two variables x2 dash and x2 double dash. So, in the next step is uh, we need to uh, replace the equality. Equality must be replaced. All inequalities must be or the form less than or equal to. A basic solution of LPP in standard form is a solution x, x1, x2, xn, s1, s2, etc., sm of the constraint equation in which at most m variables are non-zero. So, here this m variables are non-zero. The variables that are non-zero are called basic variables. A basic solution for which all variables are non-negative is called a basic feasible solution. 